using with clips and scents. So actually I want to go through a little bit more of a practical example here and show you how you might use this in two different situations. One of them with the drums and then another one with the synthesizer type sound and see how you might be able to really use this and do some cool stuff with it. So first of all, we have that same session drummer up. What I'm going to do is click on bass drum over this and what I want to do right this second is actually right click on the edge here and say trigger note on click. I don't need that to happen. Um, it might be nice at some point, but I'm going to just play it first. And let's now, we've got the looping on, I can see it out here. Just as a side note, when you're doing this, this clip here can be extended and looped out like a normal clip. So I could actually turn off the looping if I wanted to. And when I drag this out, it's going to play through that same pattern all these different times. Okay, so kind of soft at this second. We're going to have to turn this up a little bit so you can hear it better, but pretty powerful. Let's see this. Okay, so that's a little bit better. We may adjust that level as we go. Okay, so get back in there. At this point, I can just double click on this little icon here, open up the step sequencer again, because what we want to do is do some other stuff here. Use the snare. What I'm doing is changing the snare velocity overall for the whole row using an offset. Not quite so much. Closed hat is right here, so we can go every other one if we want to except for this one, which I'm going to use an open hat. So da 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 open right there. And again, I'm not really too happy with the levels of those, but they're okay. And open hat, or I could even use the pedal if I wanted to for a different sound. which I don't like at all. So we'll go back with the open. And I don't think we have a an actual hand clap sound in this. Nope, so we won't use it. If we wanted to do a double time, we could with some of this, but I think for the overall effect of this drum loop, I've got what we actually want to have for the moment. And I'm not going to do too much with controllers for this point because this is pretty simple. What I need to do though is go to insert a soft synth and in this case, we'll use something else a little bit more interesting, such as Dimension Pro would work. This is one of those things that is in Sonar Producer, but it's a powerful tool which you can get even if you don't have that version. So, let's load in a sound here. And let's see, we have a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Let's do a synth bass, though. And let's find something that's pretty interesting. That's nice and loud, so we may have to adjust this. Let's see. Let's click on that and come out here and turn down our level. Something workable. Okay. Not as interesting as it could be, so let's find something else. A little bit more interesting, so let's go with that. And instead of actually programming using a MIDI keyboard, which I was just playing on, what we're going to do is open the step sequencer again. And in this case, we're going to need to go on this track. Brand new one, as you see. Go to monophonic mode. So what we're going to do is look over here and you see the notes that we have available. We could always add additional lanes here by throwing these out. And you're going to see we have some note issues in terms of which ones are here. But what we can do, let's turn back on, or if it's not on, trigger note on click so I can hear what I'm doing. Okay, so we got an interesting bass part here. 
we could do this all the way out and pull it out, but instead I'm going to loop it for a minute just so we can hear this. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm creating a melody line and I'm having to jump all over the place. I did this one, put these notes into left click and then control click between them to add one held out note so that sound actually had time to develop. This is like adding ties in notation terminology. But you can see how cool this is in terms of creative workflow. When I'm doing note dragging here, I click, hold the note, and then move it across. It's like a paintbrush and it just does all the rest for me. But very powerful tool allowing you to very easily draw in patterns. And remember, this is just a four beat pattern with four steps. We could change this in a lot of different ways. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, let's move on to the next section.